Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Prepping by Faith and today I want to encourage you to keep asking questions. As we see everything unfolding before us, we know that nothing is as it seems. Sometimes I wonder if it ever truly was or if I just finally awakened to the deeper reality that those in control have always been moving behind the scenes. It's just come to a point in time where we can no longer ignore it and they are less secretive than they once were. We could meet at a more challenging time. We are confronted with so many crises simultaneously. What does it need to master the future? I think to have a platform where all stakeholders of global society are engaged. Governments, business, civil societies, the young generation, and I could go on, I think is the first step to meet all the challenges. I remember as a child being told repeatedly to ask questions, that no question is a dumb question. Do you remember hearing that growing up as well? I think that is still something that they encourage, but what I've realized is something else. You can ask a question, but you are to accept their answers. They oftentimes are not based on any sound logic, true science, or irrefutable fact. They mask the truth with more lies or compound it with so much opinion that it becomes more difficult to discern the truth. We have all witnessed so many cover-ups, everything from the scientific research surrounding the jabs and the unexplained deaths to the factory fires that seem to spontaneously explode at the drop of a hat to the more recent train derailment in Ohio in which thousands of pounds of chemicals were burned to create a toxic cocktail of which the ramifications will be lasting for decades to come. We have seen the news reports about Chinese spy balloons that appeared all over the country and metal cylindrical unidentified objects that they say may be alien in origin. We have seen the continued cyber attacks that threaten our infrastructure and most recently temporarily shut down the Dole manufacturing plants in North America. We see a push for green energy goals at the expense of the American people's livelihoods all in the name of climate change, while these same pompous elites travel in private jets and eat filet mignon every night. We are told that cow farts are bad, animals are dirty and spread diseases like bird flu, while bug protein laden with parasites and lab-grown meat is more healthy and sustainable. Fossil fuels are destroying the planet, but corporate greed and government control are championed. Anyone who challenges the narratives is either canceled, barred from participating in social media, or tossed into a jail cell without due process. We see a mass movement for equality and equity for all that allows the minority views to be pushed to the forefront and those who speak out against it are labeled hateful, intolerant, domestic tease, and violent ease. All that was good and morally sound is being swept away because evil has been embraced. The most vile of acts are celebrated because people are told that all differences are good, even the mutilation of genitalia. We are in the times of anything goes, and once our feet have been caught in that snare, the only thing that can set us free is the truth. What I want you to understand is that we are in the hour of deception. You need to spend time in the Word of God because that is the only truth that we have left to cling to to get us through the days ahead. The Bible tells us in 1 Timothy 4 verses 1 through 2, Now the Spirit expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their own conscience seared with a hot iron. We are witnessing this in the churches in which you have LGBTQ plus ideologies and woke culture telling people that God is only love and homosexuality activity is not sin, that God is not even a he as the Bible so clearly points out, but merely a they them. God is gay. God is a lesbian. God is trans. God is gender non-binary. God is straight. God is cisgender. God is black, God is white, God is Middle Eastern, God is Asian, 
God is differently abled mentally and physically. God is able-bodied. God is you, and you are God, because you are a reflection of God's divine image. We have pastors teaching that abortion is acceptable and not the murder of innocent life. You got preachers up here talking about they are against abortion. Good, so don't have one then. But don't impose your feelings on other people because your patriarchy is reckless. I don't think members of the LGBTQ plus community are of God. Good, you don't associate with them. But don't try to diminish somebody's humanity in Jesus' name because you don't understand the complexity of God's creativity. There are those lying about what it takes to get to heaven. The idea that people can continue to live an unrepentant life and stay saved. This is the generation of the blind leading the blind. And we have to be aware so that we do not fall for the lies that lead to eternal damnation. Jesus sent us the Holy Spirit to bear witness with our spirit and lead us to the truth. We have to be awakened to the mass deception that is taking place around us. Everything is moving in the direction to deceive the masses so that they are more easily controlled. We are accelerating towards a new world order of their making in which all will be forced to take the mark to buy or sell. Stay watchful and alert so that you are not deceived by these things. Draw nearer to the Lord. And if you feel any question in your spirit that something isn't right, pay attention to that feeling. We must remain vigilant if we want to stay under God's wing of protection and we must put him first place. 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, the God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ who is the image of God and Romans 1, 28 verses 29. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting, being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil mindedness, they are whisperers. Anything that is not true, honest, just, pure, lovely, and of good report is not of God. These are the things which we must strive for if we want to stay under his protection and grow in the grace and knowledge about who he truly is. God abhors sin. Stay humble and repentant before him. And lastly, 2 Timothy 3 verses 1 through 5 says, But mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, have nothing to do with such people. We are witnessing the rebellion against God and morality at every turn. People have embraced woke culture and pride at the expense of truth and righteousness. God cannot abide in us if we believe the lies of the devil. So I want to encourage you today to keep asking questions and more than that, keep researching. If something doesn't sound right to you or you feel that the government or other entities are pushing some new technology, treatment or solution that doesn't sound quite right, don't ignore that feeling. Question everything research everything and pray without ceasing. If you guys have enjoyed this video today, please like, share, and subscribe. And remember to pray, prep, and put God first. God bless.